Welcome back everybody, it's Marty Ussery with the Average Day Studios Artist Spotlight and today I'm going to bring you Pietu all the way from Sweden. So I was really impressed when I saw him on Vero. Uh, he's got some great music and he, and he plays in and out of a lot of different styles which I always enjoy too. So without further ado, why don't we go and get started. Hey everybody, I'm Pietu and I'm going to be the next featured artist on the Average Day Studio Spotlight on Vero. All right, well, out of the gate, you know, my first question, I want to know an artist's influences. And with the variety of styles that Pietu plays, I'm just dying to ask, Pietu, what shapes your music? Uh, oh, that's, that's a tough one. Uh, I would probably say uh, Leonard Cohen, his uh, 80s stuff mostly, uh, Tom Petty, uh, and um, uh, Mew, the pop band. From Denmark um, and uh, Devin Townsend. That's the, the most uh, recent influences I've, I've had in my songwriting. But also, since I write both with lyrics and instrumentals, um, yeah, I also include uh, Pat Metheny, um, Lyle Mays, and um, Arvo Pert, for example, and various film composers for, for the. Uh, instrumental stuff. Thanks Pietu and Mew happens to be a band that I really enjoy too so if you haven't listened to them please check them out. We don't hear much about them here in the States but they are a super cool band. Uh, as a person who also likes to tackle different styles in my songwriting I wanted to dig deeper into why Pietu likes to change it up and bounce around in and out of different genres. Yeah why can't I choose one genre or style <laughs> to write music in? Uh, that's a hard one to answer, but um, I'll try. Um, I, I usually played in bands uh, and uh, South Ambulance, for example. There we go. Uh, and um, uh, I, I like to work, uh, I usually like, liked to work in different collaborative forms. Uh, uh, but due to different uh, obstacles in my life, personal life, uh, difficulties I went through, I, I happened to stumble across my own musical voice. And um, in my view, it's, um, it's my inner world that is the genre. Uh, and the styles uh, uh, has to adapt to that. So whether it's instrumental music or lyrically based uh, stuff, I usually think that as, as long as it uh, touches me or tells something about me that I probably, did, probably don't know yet, but will, uh, or maybe something I'm familiar with, uh, as, or as long as it touches me, so uh, that's enough to uh, make it through to be released. So that's probably why. I'm going to showcase uh, a few different songs of Pietu's, but um, if I had to pick my favorite, I would say When We Were Young is my favorite. So I asked him to do a live version of it. It's a nice slowed down version, so uh, he's going to play it for you. But before that, he's going to give you a little explanation of it. Enjoy. So this is a song called When We Were Young, and it deals with the concept of growing up. Uh, and it's also an inner conversation between um, the young and the old person within every one of us. Uh, I grew up in a small town in Sweden uh, and moved to Stockholm where I live now and this, there's a road going to, between these two places uh, and this uh, the song all, also tells uh, about the journey on the road at night time uh, as this converse, conversation takes place where this conversation takes place. Yeah. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, 
when we were young. I drive through the night All is calm and white The field leads through the field Street lights follow me Glowing red Straight into Your head Do you believe the things you do? Well, you are young You know my heart was reaching to when we were young, we built these walls just to break through. When we were young, Pietu is the first Northern European artist that I've spotlighted. And I was curious how living in Sweden influenced his songwriting. Well, as Northern Europeans, we're pretty gloomy <laughs> in our culture. No, uh, jo all joking aside, um, uh, I think it probably is uh, because of the weather. It's um, dark and cold in the winters and um, hot and short summers just that is as it is right now so that uh, gives a both dark, a, a dark um, side and a, and a short explosive extrovert side in the summers to the spirit uh, uh, of uh, probably to Sweden yeah that's my kid playing on a kazoo um, and um, uh, about yeah being jolly and nice um, but uh, I think that affects music uh, generally most in yeah, uh, Swedish or Northern European music. It has some kind of melancholy to it that always shines through. Maybe in bigger bands such as ABBA's, you always hear the bitter su bittersweet sound to it. There's nothing like 100% good or jolly or happy. It always has to have that uh, little bit of uh, bitter sweetness to it. Oh, sorry. All right, that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for joining Pietu and I on this little musical journey. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you follow Pietu and listen to his music. Also, give it a share, you know, if you like it. That's what we're here to do is to uh, showcase uh, artists out there that maybe you don't know or your friend doesn't know or whatever. So, you know, find whatever medium you can to support their music, and I think they'd be really appreciative of that. I've got more coming in the future, so stay tuned. And last but not least, I want to thank Pietu for doing this with me. It's been awesome. I'm going to send you out with a few of his songs, so catch you on the flip side.